trainee doctor Ryo Okada is among thousands of young South Korean medical professionals who walked off the job this month because they say they're overworked, underpaid and the government's not listening to them. More specifically, they're protesting a government plan to raise the number of admissions to medical schools, which officials hope can boost the number of doctors. After the walk-off began, hospitals say they've had to turn away patients and cancel surgeries, with several issuing red alerts on Sunday as they overflowed with patients. Junior doctors are a crucial cog in South Korea's highly regarded medical system, making up 40% of staff at large teaching hospitals. But those like Ryu say the admissions plan misses the point, that officials first need to review their pay and the conditions they work under. Ryu says trainee doctors work more than 100 hours a week, making between $1,500 to some $3,000 a month, including overtime pay. A first-year resident in the United States averages about $5,000 a month, according to American Medical Association data, while half the junior doctors in the U.S. work 60 hours a week or less. That's according to the Korean Intern Resident Association, who also says intern and resident doctors in South Korea work 36-hour shifts compared to shifts of under 24 hours in the U.S. The current medical system in South Korea, which is a great one, is run by making cheap trainee doctors keep grinding. Senior doctors and private practitioners have not walked out, but have held rallies urging the government to scrap its plan to boost medical student numbers, with hundreds gathering in Seoul on Sunday. However, polls show the general population is mostly in favor of the government's plan. Authorities have ordered the protesting young doctors back to work, threatening arrest or to suspend their licenses. On Monday, the country's vice health minister gave them a deadline to return to work by March. But the doctors are asking why they aren't being heard. I wanted to become a doctor because I want to stand next to the people when they are at their most vulnerable, when they're lonely and in pain. For this reason, I decided to work at the emergency center. But the government is only pressuring trainee doctors unilaterally, without dialogue, and threatening to arrest us. Park Dan, who heads the Korean Intern Resident Association, says changes are needed in a system where many hospitals rely on a low-paid workforce to stay afloat. He added that doctors also want better legal protection from malpractice suits. Doctors working in internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology and emergency medicine, which involve medical care directly related to patients' lives, all carry the burden of not knowing when they might face medical lawsuits. Part of the problem, Park says, is the lack of specific details on how the government plans to implement its proposed health care policies. He says it was heartbreaking for him to have to walk away from his patients. But, he says, the current system is distorted, so we need better than that.